see, I'm an aging comic. Um, I know this because I had my 50-year checkup a couple of months, a few years. Well, actually, it's been almost a decade ago now. But <laughs> <laughs> Just out of interest, how many of you have had, experienced that hilarity yourselves? Uh, <laughs> come on, let's see. I can see by the color of your hair out there that some of you have uh, <laughs> probably been through this or should uh, go through Colonoscopy uh, is what I'm talking about here. If I can just break, <laughs> if I can break that word down for you, um, <clears throat> colon, that refers to the last five or six feet of the large intestine, and oscopy, which is a medical uh, term, literally translated garden hose with camcorder. My uh, doctor described the procedure, and I said, you, <laughs> you are going to put me out for this, aren't you? I don't know how I feel about his bedside manner. My doctor actually laughed in my face. He said, no, no, no. You can watch the whole thing if you want. I said, no, I don't think I'm that flexible. I just, uh, And then, you old folks remember, I had to drink <clears throat> three big plastic bottles of this stuff the night before meant to cleanse my digestive system. And I don't, I don't know how about, uh, about how uh, you felt that, about that, sir. But um, <laughs> I found that stuff to be really effective. <laughs> 3 a.m., I was in my favorite place, and I... I heard my wife in the kitchen rummaging through the garbage pail, and she brought a, a bottle in, plastic bottle in. She said, an empty one. She said, you did dilute this stuff, didn't you? <laughs> so, well, that would explain it. It cleansed my digestive system and every other system. I, I, I lost computer files that night. Oh. <laughs> and then the instructions from the hospital said that before I got to the hospital for the the uh, 6 o'clock, uh, 6 a.m. procedure, that I was to drink 3,800 milliliters of water. I'm from Minnesota, not Manitoba. I'm not into metrics. So 4.30 in the morning, I'm in the kitchen with a measuring cup and a, and a ruler trying to figure out how many <laughs> milliliters are in an inch. I had no idea. <clears throat> well, you think this out. It, it's 3.8 liters, which is almost a gallon of water. And I got to the hospital, and the uh, nurse said, and how are you, Mr. Stromberg? I said, well, not so well. I just drank a gallon of water. M might you explain to me why I had to do that? And she said, well, we need to, uh, we're going to uh, need to, to do a urinalysis as well, and, and we need to make sure that we have an adequate supply. <laughs> I said, how much do you need? She said, well, you need to fill up that plastic cup. From here? <clears throat> Because either, otherwise, this isn't even going to be a challenge. <laughs> and then it was a little upsetting and, and uh, condescending, I thought, because she grabbed the cup and gave it to me, which I was disappointed because I was pretty sure I could have done it. Yeah. <laughs> the whole point of that, uh, of the story, is that uh, it made me feel old. And, and also because the doctor was like 15. <laughs> Fortunately, he wasn't uh, there by himself. His girlfriend came along. So the, <laughs> They had their earbuds in. <laughs> I didn't mind, though. I didn't mind because they gave me one of those uh, uh, little uh, sedatives, one little sedative, little pill. There must be some nurses who know what that, or doctors, what that, that's called. What is that pill called? Versed. It wasn't Valium. Versed. Versed? Versed. Set. Versed. Versed. I know, the generic name is sure, I don't mind, go ahead, do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> and that was, a, that's, that was a great stuff. And it made me wonder what general anesthesia must be like, because I've never experienced, I've never experienced, if I have experienced, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> my buddy Mark, who lives here in the Twin Cities, he, he's my age, and he was playing basketball with a bunch of, of old guys my age, and frankly, I think there's a time when, it, when you should give it up, and uh, he hadn't yet, but he has now because he was just playing a little defense and he popped his Achilles tendon. And it, do you know what happens when you pop an Achilles tendon? It rolls right up. Like that. And they found it up behind his shoulder blade. <laughs> they had him on a gurney. Uh, they had a line into his hand and he saw the first drips of general anesthesia go into his vein. And he thought to himself, 
what if it doesn't work on me? And in a panic, he sat up on the gurney, looked the surgeon right in the eye and said, this stuff better work. <laughs> and the surgeon said, well, I think it did because we're all done. <laughs> 